Welcome everyone to the Woodbridge Channel's coverage of the 2018 St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'm Craig Coughlin. I'll be bringing the parade with my colleague and friend Jim Durick. And Jim, it's a great day for the Irish. It's always a great day. And from what I understand, the forecast for the uh, weather for the parade is supposed to be absolutely terrific. Um, and uh, Craig, you and I have been doing this for how long now? For longer than we probably want to count. <laughs> and we both have had the great fortune of being Grand Marshals of the parade, so we yes. know what a special day it is for the honorees. Absolutely, it is a special day for them. And one of the things we always have to remember that is this parade, while certainly the township is, is an important part of it, it's sponsored by the Woodbridge American Irish. And they work very, very hard. They start in uh, September. they got to raise a lot of money for these... Uh, pipe and drum bands, Craig, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, look, without the American Irish Association, we wouldn't have this. And the support of the mayor and, you know, uh, the administration. Absolutely. Well, it promises to be another great parade. So sit back, relax, everybody. We're going to get started in just a minute. Thanks for watching. and welcome to the 2018 St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Woodbridge, uh, sponsored by the American Irish Association of Woodbridge Township, with a lot of support from our uh, police department, uh, from uh, our fire departments, and uh, actually one year we had them leave because there was a fire. They had a, a peel off the uh, parade. Uh, CERT, which helps out a lot for us, and uh, all the other um, members of uh, the Woodbridge Township administration that support us. And I'm, I'm happy to be here um, for a little bit with uh, my friend John Mitch um, uh, until, uh, you know, my regular Craig Coughlin is here with me. So you can see that the uh, First, we have the Woodbridge Township police cars, followed by the Central Jersey Leathernecks, and the John Bassalone 190 Marine Corps, and the um, American flag carried by uh, Woodbridge High School, which is one of the three high schools here in Woodbridge Township. We have uh, Woodbridge, we have uh, Colonia High, and, and uh, John F. Kennedy High School. So, uh, you know, we're, we're a pretty big township. Would you agree with that, John? I agree, Jim. And right now, as you look out, you see uh, some of the Woodbridge players. I see Sam Duffy waving over to you right there. I see Jack Golden. And, and they're some of the baseball players, and they're carrying the American flag. And I remember that when that tradition started here a number of years ago. It's a great way to display the American flag and, and being carried by the, the, our kids from our school district. So uh, congratulations to all the kids that get involved in that. We thank them. And one of the things I've always loved about uh, these parades, and I, John, I know you've done other parades as well, is that you really see the, uh, you know, the community uh, members that are so involved with our youth and otherwise, and from neighboring towns, and uh, it's a real pleasure to see. And this year, thank goodness, unlike last year, right, John, when it was freezing cold, um, we have a, we really have a beautiful day. Absolutely. It uh, couldn't ask for a nicer day here for the uh, annual St. Patrick's Day Parade down on Main Street. And here's the American flag that's being carried by the Woodbridge High School. You know, as we have a little low, maybe we could just uh, make a quick mention on some of our honorees today. You know, they get selected by the American Irish Association. And uh, in particular, and I had a uh, uh, very happy to hear that uh, they selected Joan Diaz as the Grand Marshal this year, very active in our community. Uh, and a one, just a wonderful woman. 
Absolutely. And we'll, we'll go over some of their bios, but you also have, she's joined by uh, Cindy Jakovinich, the Irish Lady of the Year, our good friend Dan Harris, the Irish Man of the Year, Julia Sinatra, Miss American Irish, and Erin Cahill, Lady in Waiting. As they start making their way uh, you know, down Main Street, we'll go over their bios, as I indicated. And now we have the Barnegat uh, Bay Pipes and Drums that are in your view right now. And I hope that we're going to hear, um, you know, some uh, Irish tunes soon. And if not, you're going to sadly have to put up with my singing something. I mean, my mom was 100% uh, Irish. Oh, well, looks like we're going to get something here, John. John, I think the, the pipes are a very difficult instrument, uh, not only to play, but to learn. And I would agree with you. You can see the people on the reviewing stand with their smiles, starting to tap their feet. And my bride, Kathy, is up there with uh, my friend Tom Henderson, who's, believe it or not, has been my friend since third grade. Wow. I know he's happier up there this year than he was last year with how cold it was. No question. I talked to him earlier. <laughs> See, our parade is so popular that they're here from Barnegat. Absolutely. A pipe and drum of Barnegat. And, and as has been said, uh, Woodbridge, although we are the sixth largest municipality in the state of New Jersey, we do host Thank the largest St. Patrick's Day parade. One of the things uh, you can note, and this happens almost every year when there is the sun, everybody is on the north side of the street. Yes, that's Where the true. sun is shining. <laughs> and unfortunately for uh, my wife Kathy and Tom, yeah. they're on, on the, the other side. side of the street. <laughs> There's Joan Diaz right there coming in right behind the uh, convertible. Again, if I can, uh, you know, Joan Diaz uh, has the honor this year of being the Grand Marshal. She contributes to so many causes in our township. Two of the most uh, important to her, the St. James Parish Laza uh, Lazarus Committee, where she meets with families of recently deceased and helps to make all arrangements for their loved ones for a funeral, and also gets very involved at the Veterans uh, Mental Park Home. Uh, in many capacities. So uh, kudos to her. I'm sure her sons are honored to march with her today. Very involved, John. Absolutely. And now we see the Irish Woman of the Year. Cindy Jakovinich. Cindy also uh, very involved. She uh, traces her uh, uh, heritage also back to Ireland. She currently serves as the treasurer of the association, as trustee at the Avenel VFW, and also gets involved even with her employer with uh, many programs that benefit the community. And Jacobinich is definitely an Irish name, John. Yeah, she uh, <laughs> traces her uh, history back to County Clare and County Wexford. Well, it's like me. My, my mom is 100% Irish, but my last name is Durek, and that is not Irish. Uh, speaking of Irish, there's Dan Harris, the Irishman of the Year, uh, proud son of the late Fred and uh, his mom, Kathy. And uh, they live in Colonia, and the Harris's traced their original uh, origin back to the county cork. Uh, Dan, as everyone know, and I, you know, I've said this to him before, he's pretty much a household name. He's a legislative director to Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin down in Trenton. He plays an integral role in uh, setting the speaker's public policy agenda. Uh, 
uh, he's proud of his work with the uh, Bowl for Hunger that he does with the oh, and Speaker. He, I'm sorry to interrupt you, John, but he is so active in the community as well. And now uh, what's coming into view is our former Grand Marshals. Oh, my God, Jimmy Carroll. He's, he still thinks he's the Grand Marshal <laughs> after 15 years. I see he's carrying one of his grandchildren. <laughs> yep. He told me this morning at the uh, breakfast that uh, he's Grand Marshal Emeritus. Emeritus, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. I now see our uh, parade chair and vice uh, co-chair coming in line, Karen Devlin and Laura Jacobs. Uh, I had an opportunity to speak to them as well about what it what it takes to get into uh, to put this whole parade together after a year's worth of work. So congratulations to both of those ladies, and you can see their Irish eyes are, are uh, with their big smile today. And John, they work so hard. The uh, you know the committee that puts this together is just incredible sure i understand it takes about 30 of their members to really put this all together and know. they start in september they've got to raise a lot of money yes another pipe and drum coming down main street celtic cross i believe they're out of new york see they even come here from new york that's how popular we are. We see the American flag and the tricolors, which is the flag of Ireland. And they're escorting the president of the association, Barbara Lasik, president of the American Irish. And so many of uh, our units and groups who march, John, they throw candy. <laughs> out to the kids all over and I'm always worried that you know somebody's gonna get clipped by a car <laughs> yeah they do jump out see a couple of their members that are riding in some of these uh, the cars to follow uh, Barbara Thompson right if I see her there correctly driving down Main Street in her in a, in a uh, Corvette Uh, Barbara this year is a vice president of, your, of the association. That's correct. And within the ordinary structure, John, she would become president next year or the following year. More officers and directors of their association. And, you know, we, uh, John, uh, as you probably know, we, we have a lot of members that are uh, elderly. They just can't make the march through, and so they are lucky enough to ride in a car. Absolutely. And here comes the American Irish Association of Woodbridge Township. You know, I was also want to point out to their to their credit, uh, while they get involved in many community activities, each of their members go even beyond the organization. Uh, there's nothing they don't touch. They really do when you think about it. Uh, it's kudos to them. Probably one of the most uh, well-run organizations here in the township. Yeah, and it's a credit. You know, John, believe it or not, I've been a member uh, for 30 years. Uh, my mom um, first got me involved, and. She was a uh, grand marshal in the past, and as uh, our mayor, John McCormick, likes to say, and he likes to point out, that there are four prior grand marshals that came from uh, Menlo Park Terrace. He's very proud of that. I'm sure he is. <laughs> so I'm am sure I. He is. <laughs> I see uh, JFK High School coming in right now. See some of the cheerleaders and some of their football players and other sports uh, team members carrying their flag. The, the, uh, flag. the Irish flag, the tricolors, John. And, um, you know, for this parade, they uh, in particular have the greatest colors. <laughs> yeah. They do.
Boy, that's a big tricolor flag. You know, uh, years ago, John, I had a uh, aunt, my aunt Sis. Boy, if you wore orange on St. Patrick's Day, you may as well have been dead. <laughs> like uh, the Egan's coming, uh, driving past in the van right there. Yep. Now this uh, Volkswagen also coming into view is appropriate in color today. Oh, totally. It's even got a hat on. And John, we didn't have a chance to mention uh, our directors yet. Um, Joan Ward, Sean Keevney, who I've known for a ton of years, uh, Ken Gardner, John Reitman, Joan Diaz, as we said, and Ken Egan. They're the current directors of the American Irish Association. I see a couple more members there. I see Pat Sigler throwing out some candy. Giving us a little wave back there. And as you uh, indicated earlier, at least some of the officers, our president is Barbara Lasik, Vice President Barbara Thompson, Financial Secretary is uh, Doris McKelvey, Corresponding Secretary Dolores Boyd, Recording Secretary Debbie Hutchinson, Sergeant at Arms Ed McSherry, who's also a very great guy, and uh, our treasurer is Cindy. Jakovinich. And as you see right now, Jim, Julia Sinatra, Miss American Irish, is here. Uh, Julia and her family have been involved with the association for many years. Julia has helped her mom build that float for probably oh almost the 20 years she's been around. I mean, she's a high school senior. Uh, congratulations to her on the honor. She's her class president. She was first runner-up for homecoming queen. I personally know her. I know she's already accepted uh, an offer. She's going to be going to Drew University to study politics and international relations. Very active in, uh, and going to play softball for Drew. And she's also uh, accompanied by the uh, lady-in-waiting, Erin uh, Cahill, who's a junior at Edison High School. And she started her freshman year as a two-sport varsity athlete. Congratulations to her in both wow. softball and swimming. She's a certified lifeguard. Uh, she takes action photos in her school uh, for her yearbook. And she hopes to seek a career in cosmetology. So congratulations to both of those ladies on the honor. And speaking of Julia and the float that her family puts together. Oh, and my God. This is uh, Andrew Mazzarella, as you know, every year, and Alice Sinatra and everybody. They put this together for many years, and they do a fantastic job. Totally. On that. And, and Alice is, uh, I couldn't believe it when I first heard it, is married to Frank Sinatra. Sinatra. I, listen, <laughs> I, I joke about it, but I was the one who received the wedding invitation to Frank Sinatra's wedding, so what an honor. Yep. Yeah. So what I want to do now, Jim, is I'm going to I'm going to say goodbye because I'm going to go back out and hit the street, do some interviews, and I'm going to turn it over to our colleague, uh, State Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin. Welcome, Craig. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Thanks and for welcome to my buddy, my friend Jim Durick. So nice to see. You. Always good to be with you. And happy. St. Patrick's Day, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a beautiful day. Tell you what, there's people all over the place. There's a little pent up demand, I think, to get outside after the recent snowstorm. And with one, looks like it's supposed to be barreling down on us uh, as we come, or as it uh, as the week progresses. So I see Congressman Malone just yeah. passed by, and um, Senator Menendez. Yep, yeah, they're here with us. Cause you know why? Cause that's how important the Woodbridge St. Patrick's Day parade is. No, oh, Craig, don't be humble. You're important. Well, hardly. That's why they're here. What, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. <laughs> but thank you for those kind words. <laughs> Have an important job, that's it. <laughs> so, Jim, it's good to be with you again. Yes. I don't know, how many times have we done this now? Jeez, Craig, I don't know. Um, but even before you uh, came on board with me, I, I realized I've been doing this for about 25 years. Wow. Wow. I'm not even 25 years old yet. <laughs> okay, well, maybe. Maybe a multiple of that. Well, that's not what Tish tells me. <laughs> and you know what? 
Regardless of what Tish has told of me, I think you're a pretty good guy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I remember to tell her. <laughs> now we have the new road school from Parlin that's in your uh, screen right now. Yeah, I'm serving the special needs folks in, uh, in uh, Parlin. Terrific school. I know they do uh, good work. And it's, I'm telling you, Jim, it's, uh, you know, it's brisk outside, but. Not uh, like last year, Craig. John and I were talking about that. Ooh. You know, I had the great privilege of being the uh, Grand Marshal last year, something I know you have had as well. Here comes Project Children. Terrific group, brings oh, over uh, disadvantaged uh, children from Ireland, if I'm not mistaken. No, you're right. And I'm primarily from Northern uh, Ireland, Craig, where you know, the employment rate for uh, particularly the uh, uh, Catholics up there is, is pretty low. So they get a great opportunity to come to the good old USA in the summertime and enjoy uh, some of our sun. And, uh, and they, uh, and Craig, as you said, they do tremendous work really do and we see some of the other vehicles rolling by I love how they all uh, get decked out with the shamrocks and here comes let's uh, see Cotteret it's the Cotteret uh, let's see American Legion Oh, these are the guys with the guns. <laughs> Everybody duck. If you're on the parade route. And there, drum corps. Our friends from the Carteret, American Legion, another one of the outstanding service groups that we have throughout the area, and we're happy to have them with them. And they're here, they're a regular participant. And they were followed by American, I'm sorry, yeah, American Legion Post 87 right here in Woodbridge. Yep. Located on Barry Street. I, I, Craig, I told you, I just heard the shots. There you go. Legion Commander is Michael uh, Genetowski. Joe Russo's the SAL commander, ladies auxiliary, headed by Trish Muller. Hey, let's take a break right now, and let's send it out to John on the street. Okay, I'm here now with Ken Gardner, former councilman, former president of the American Irish Association. Ken, uh, I know a lot goes into putting the parade together, but what we don't ever want to forget is our sponsors. There's many people out there, corporate uh, corporations and businesses that contribute to the success of today's event. Why yes. don't you talk about them? Yeah, our, our parade is uh, funded by the American Irish Association and organized by the association. And if it wasn't for the contributions that we receive from area businesses and our ad book, and uh, some of our major sponsors. Our, our platinum sponsor is Hackensack Meridian JFK Medical Center. We have several uh, gold sponsors, Ariana's Grand, uh, Moby Dick's, Big Shots, and I Styles of Woodbridge. And then we also have banners uh, for Jim Durick, the club at Woodbridge, uh, the Berkeley School, uh, the Learning Center, and uh, without their contributions, we wouldn't be able to put this great parade on. So thank you for letting us recognize them. Oh, absolutely. And again, like we said to everybody else, thanks for bringing the parade once again to Woodbridge, the 45th Annual Parade. It's our pleasure. We, we like to get the, everybody a great mental health day and have everybody be Irish uh, and free of charge to the public. So thanks for coming out. Thanks, Ken. Back to you guys. Jim, I tell you, this is uh, the crowd has just been terrific. Uh, Many people deep at uh, at each of the uh, locations. Yeah, and, and Craig, it really, truly is a beautiful day. Oh, for sure, it really is. Which certainly doesn't uh, discourage the turnout. No, that's good. You know, and I, as I said, I think that it's true. Here we see uh, poking his nose up against our windows. Brian Kelly, he's going to be the. Uh, 
He's going to be the Grand Marshal of the South Amboy Parade next week. And we see post. Uh, sorry, I lost it. Post 44-10. Craig, I lost it a long time ago. Um, and this year we're working off of uh, one screen. Yeah. But Lee Beckerman and um, all the people from uh, Channel 35 here in Woodbridge has a sh they do a great job every year. Next up, the Hackensack Meridian Health JFK Medical Center. Enormous amount of consolidation going on in the healthcare industry. And uh, both the Raritan Bay and now JFK are part of the Hackensack Meridian uh, hospital system. You know, Craig, there's been so many mergers. It's, uh, it's almost hard to keep track of, really, you know? True. JFK Medical Center is now a proud member, as they, they would like us to let you all know. Proud member of the Hackensack Meridian Health Family. JFK is a nonprofit, 499 bed hospital. I guess I couldn't find the 500 one, right? That'd be a nice round number. Uh, <laughs> a hospital providing high quality care and an enhanced patient experience. The hospital houses two extraordinary institutes JFK Re Rehabilitation Institute with both an inpatient and unit and outpatient centers, nursing facilities and specialized treatment programs, and JFK Neuroscience Institute. And, well, we'll get back to them. Um, that was the now, in your views, uh, the Middlesex County Democratic Organization. Chairman Kevin P. McCabe, a Woodbridge guy. Beatrice Moskowitz, former Woodbridge Township Principal. She's the vice chair. Kevin's the chair and they are followed by and again you know they they uh, craig as you well as you well know of elected officials hey look at the sign hey, who's for that? this guy who Wait is a that minute. this is the jim durick division and p is for patrick by the way <laughs> the jim durick division congratulations jim for your sponsorship let me just finish you telling you about jfk they they have a neuroscience institute which provides some of the most advanced treatment in tri-state area for adult and pediatric neurological conditions and they have an expanded network that gives residents access to 16 hospitals with more than 160 patient care locations aligning jfk services to maximum care options for everyone and they're From at the point. top of the list uh, craig Cruiser. i don't i don't want to no, that's you okay off. they told me to read it so darn it so uh, the largest uh, healthcare system for in the uh, stroke state. care right they really are uh, at the top of the list here we see our sheriff millie scott from Piscataway. And she is followed by the Girl Scouts. Girl Scout Troop 80062. They always have five digits. Yeah, why is that? I mean, when I was a kid, there was like two. So the leader of 80062 is Jessica Medina. There's another, a bunch of other groups included that. 83610, leaders are Sharon Andrews, Jennifer Blash, and Gina Foley. 83348, the leader is Lydia Varia. Uh, Varia. Uh, 83544, leader is Kimberly Castor. 81031, Heather P uh, Petuto. And 80228, leader is Nicole Andovich and Michelle Liska. And again, Craig, as you well know, uh, all these Girl Scout troops, the Boy Scout troops, the, uh, uh, the, the high schools that are marching is show the tremendous support from the Woodbridge community, the Woodbridge parents, and uh, it just all makes for a very good community, and you're as you well know. Right. Oh, for sure. Look, part of the real fabric of the community are groups like that, organizations like that, and they you know, it's it's where young folks learn to be participative in the the community. They learn how to, that that you know they're part of something bigger than themselves, and they learn to do things that are um, worthwhile yeah, and worthwhile really and valuable and to the community. community. People. Exactly right. Thank you, Jim. Well said. Hey, let's take a break right now, and let's send it out to John on the street. 
I'm here right now with Karen Devlin and Laura Jacobs. Karen is this year's parade chair. Laura is her assistant chair. Next year, you'll be in charge of the parade. So we know here in New Jersey that Woodbridge hosts the largest St. Patrick's Day parade every year. So talk a little bit about uh, what, what goes into putting the parade together and how did you get from last year to this year? Yes, sure, John. So thank you very much. Um, this is an, an enormous undertaking. Without the parades committee, which there is over 30 of us, this would not ever take off. In addition to that, our Woodbridge Township, um, the mayor, the town council, local TV 35, the police department, parks and recreation, uh, many, many groups are all part of this. And we work, we collaborate and work together to, to, to to make this happen. Great. And Laura, so what have you learned from this year's experience to get you ready for next year? Oh my goodness, between Karen and Mary, who was the chair last year, I've learned quite a bit. I have my portfolio together and we, we're set. It's going to be bigger and better each year that we put it on. Great. Well, congratulations again, the 45th year that the American Irish of Woodbridge is putting this parade on here in Woodbridge. And again, the largest parade in the state of New Jersey. Good luck, ladies. Thank, Thank you John. so much. And welcome back, everybody. Jim Dura, Craig Coughlin, happy to be with you as we bring you the 2018 St. Patrick's Day Parade. And coming into view now is the Colonel D.B. Kelly Pipe and Drum Corps from South Amboy, New Jersey. Under the direction of George Fuller. Jim, these, uh, you know, as you know, I'm, I'm from uh, South Amboy. And, I do know that. And these, uh, th this Pipe and Drum Corps was good enough to come down when I was sworn in as the speaker and lead the General Assembly into the session. So it was a great honor and terrific guys and girls and young people. I think the youngest member is probably no, 12 now. Seriously? Yeah. Dan Riley, who I met this morning uh, at the breakfast, was the uh, Grand Marshal for the Belmar Parade, Craig. Ah, that's always a great parade. Kind of kicks off the St. Patrick's season. You know, we've, we've turned it into a season, us Irish. Of uh, course. It, uh, it used to be a day, and then it was kind of a week and a month. And annually, now I have the first St. Patrick's related event at the end of January every year, Jim. How about that? Wow, <laughs> we really have turned it into an event. Bert Barron and the good folks from WCTC, an institution here in central New Jersey, and they call themselves the voice of central New Jersey. Jim, um, they also have, I think it's WMGQ 98.3 on your FM dial. As I said, I remember, you probably do too as a kid, listening to WCTC to see if there's going to be school in the morning. That was before they yeah. had the alert systems that they have now. Yeah, and the scroll and I know. on the bottom right. of the screen. Yeah. Well, I, there's a bunch of people at home going, yeah, I remember that. You tune in to WCTC, probably didn't listen to it. Uh, I think we're showing our age here, Craig, a little bit. It's okay. And by the way, Burt Barron, uh, the morning drive host of WCTC, is in New Jersey. Broadcast Association Hall of Fame member. So congratulations. That Bert. I didn't know. I did. He's the host on weekday mornings from 6 to 9 a.m. at 1450 WCTC. Good guy, too. Bert Barron had a chance to uh, meet him at events like this. He annually marches in the uh, South Amboy Parade, and I, he's had me on to do a little speak with the speaker program. So we'll do that on Tuesday mornings. Hey, let's take a break right now, and let's send it out to John on the street. Okay, I'm here now with Cindy Jakovinich, who is the Irish Lady of the Year in 2018 for the American Irish Day Parade, and Dan Harris, who is the American Irish Man of the Year. Yes. So congratulations to Thank both you. of you. Thank I want to talk with Cindy first. Cindy, uh, I know you're active in the community. You're with the Ladies Auxiliary at the Avenel VFW. Yes. You get involved with some of the uh, programs over at St. James's Parish. Yes, I right? And even uh, get involved uh, with school supplies and items like that uh, through your work, your employer, Bank of America. Talk That's about true. some of your contributions to the community and how that got you to be recognized today by the American Irish. Well, it's really very easy being a part of our club. The entire club is just active in everything that goes on in town. So if you 
want to get to know people and just want to make a difference, just listen to all the events that we have going on. So I'm involved in the Shaughnessy Park cleanup, the tooling around town, obviously the parade committee. Uh, as the treasurer, basically, I write the checks for all the things that we need to pay for today. Um, and, oh gosh, we feed the homeless over in Perth Amboy and you know, Queen Collections. Just anything that goes on in town, you generally will find Irish members there. That's great. So, and that's interesting you bring that up because each and every person we've interviewed today, and even in prior years, every one of you, you're contributions to the community go beyond the American Irish Association so congratulations on the honor today and you. Uh, with you you're you're I know you're happy to have Dan next to you <laughs> Dan you? is the Irish man of the year for yes. the American Irish uh, Dan no stranger you've got to be by now a household name uh, <laughs> hopefully Dan, a good way <laughs> in a good way yes Dan is uh, lives in Colonia he's a uh, former president of the Board of Education right. Uh, Director of Legislative Services for our new Assembly Speaker, right. Craig Coughlin. Congratulations Thank you. to you. Thank you. Uh, same thing. Talk about your community contributions. I they're, they're, listen. We only got a time limit too because they're, <laughs> they're big and there's so much more of a future. You're sure. very young. Sure. You got a lot ahead of you too. But Thank talk you. about some of the things you do today. Thank you. Sure. So uh, one, one of the things I'm most proud of. Oh, two things uh, is the Charlie Shaughnessy Park cleanup. Uh, from the time I got. Uh, you know, graduated college and got involved here in town and with the help of Mr. Bench and the town council, uh, I met Charlie Shaughnessy, the park is named after him in Colonia, and uh, he, he passed unfortunately, and I was, I wanted to take, I didn't want to see the 25 years worth of cleanups, uh, successive, uh, fall by the wayside, so that, that's been very important to me, and then the Irish have adopted his park, and that's something we do twice a year, I'm, uh, I'm a proud Colonia resident, proud township resident, I love to see no litter around our uh, our uh, public right of ways in our parks. I like our parks to be beautiful. And then um, the Bowl for Hunger is something I do through work and something the Irish has been very supportive of. That raises money for the 32 food banks in, in our area. And uh, you know the Irish. My boss was a member of the Irish. Uh, you know we, we've adopted that as something very important to us. So you know um, I, I think it was those contributions that I made through my my personal life as well as my Irish life, if you will, that uh, I think earned me the, the title. I'm, I'm truly humbled that I know Cindy is as well, and uh, well, it's going to be a great day. Yeah, and to both of you, I know you both trace your heritages back to Ireland. Yes, yes. So very proud of that. And Congrats. again, congratulations on the honor, and you mm -hmm. have a great day. Couldn't oh, ask for a better do. day yes. for a parade. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Thank so you. congratulations yes. from the three of us Thank back you, to Jeff. you guys in the studio. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And welcome back, to everyone, the 2018 Woodbridge St. Patrick's Day Parade. Craig and I have been friends for, I think, probably over 20 years, oh, right, Craig? At, at least. I mean, we... We shared office, office space, space together. That was in... Jim, that was in, from I think, from 1997 until 2000 and, or 2001. One of, so it's 20 years there. We've been friends before that. Right. And, <laughs> uh, um, you know, I, I got to tell you, we couldn't ask for a better uh, speaker of the assembly than my dear buddy Craig Coughlin. Oh. I mean, he's he's not only so um, politically knowledgeable, um, uh, but you know, I'm proud to call him my friend. Thank you, Jim. That's an incredible compliment. Well, I'm um, Irish, you know, I gotta do that. <laughs> we just we just saw Pesca support Reading First Aid Association, or First Aid, First Aid Squad, forgive me. Chief with Steve Weber. Up now, the Richmond County Pipes and Drums from New York. Richmond County, of course, is Staten Island. And they are leading in the Woodbridge Fire Company number one. That they are the they were established back in 1897. I think that makes them the oldest fire company here in the township. They cover Woodbridge and Sea Warren. My cap stack is the uh, contact person. I think uh, I terrific know, guys, I, I, dedicated I, I, people. Uh, when I say guys, I mean that you know we have we do have uh, volunteers, firefighters who are women. They may be the uh, oldest fire company, Craig, but I see a lot of young members marching in that group. And good for us that we do, right? Those are people who uh, are committed to the community, uh, are prepared to work awfully hard. You know, it looks good as they roll down the street here on a beautiful March afternoon. 
But crawling out of bed at 4 o'clock in the morning when you got to go to work, it's 6.30 or something to answer a fire when it's 10 degrees and lousy weather. It takes much more than wanting to ride down the street. So thank you to all of all of those firefighters. And we'll see a whole lot of them from across the township. We're very, very fortunate. And you know, Craig, uh, just uh, I guess this is a public announcement. The volunteer fire companies are having trouble recruiting, Craig. So uh, all of those young people out there uh, that are interested, uh, volunteer. That's right. <laughs> exactly right. According to our list, next up will be the St. James Elementary School. Greg Aquil providing the, uh, the equipment. Greg, of course, one of the outstanding businessmen here in the community, the landscapers. He's white back in the front seat. And here we go with the candy throwers, <laughs> Craig. I see the little kids running out in the street. I'm, I'm I always worry that one of them are gonna get run over. <laughs> right. And there we see. Actually, it was a float for the Relay for Life. Uh, one of the outstanding causes uh, championed by uh, Tammy McCormick, the mayor's wife, and many others. And it's been a very successful program raising money for to fight cancer. Which has... Uh, big shots. Big shots. Advertising for their uh, parade after party. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> big shots institution uh, establishment, I should say, on the um, on route, on route one and nine. Let me just tell you a little bit about Relay for Life while we have a second. They're celebrating their 20th year in Woodbridge and proud to be the site of the very first Relay for Life in the state of New Jersey. This year's event leads are Christine Arthur, Amy McDivitt, and of course, Tammy McCormick. Cancer has invaded our community so that almost everyone knows someone, and that is so true and sadly true, affected by it. Please join us on June 4th, June 4th at the Woodbridge High School to celebrate the survivors and remember the loved ones who we have lost. And Craig, as you uh, well know, uh, my first wife, uh, Ellie, died of breast cancer when she was only 44. And it is, it's a lousy disease. And it's terrible to watch somebody um, at the end of their time. I can only sadly imagine, Jim. We saw the Woodbridge Police Department roll down, and now we see the Woodbridge Police Department Junior and Senior uh, Police Academy, something we do for both young people and our seasoned people. Detective uh, Joel Slosberg and Detective Mark Zeno help run those programs, do a terrific job. And we see some of the folks. Let's take another quick break and we will send it to John Mitch on the street. Okay, right now I'm here with Julia Sinatra from Colonia. Julia this year is Miss American Irish. Congratulations, Julia. Thank you. And her lady in waiting is Erin Cahill. Thank you. So let me start with Julia. Julia, congratulations. A little bit of background from Julia. Uh, parents of Frank and Alice. I know you live at home with your sister, Erin. Uh, you are a high school senior at Kennedy, uh, current president of your graduating class. I know you're a captain of your softball team. You plan on pursuing a career in, uh, in education politics, right, over at Drew University. So congratulations on making that uh, choice. So let's talk about what you've done for the American Irish Association over the years. I know for a fact you've been part of the family that has built the float for many, many years. <laughs> so now talk a little bit about this. Talk also about your Irish step dancing as well, because I've right. seen you many times dance. Right. Well, I grew up... Irish step dancing for the club at the post parade party and the Veterans Day when we would go to the Veterans Home. I perform a show for there too. My mom's made the float for I think longer than I can walk so before I was born. So I've always been around that, helping her out and just participating, marshalling here, um, setting up at the post parade party. Pretty much I know 
this time of year it's getting crazy because of the parade but it's always worth it well congratulations again to you and to your family and again to to the good heart and sinatra family you've always been a part of putting this parade together so congratulations on that and now Thank to you. your lady in waiting which is aaron cahill from edison a junior at uh, edison high school uh, as a freshman a two-letter sports uh, you held the letter in swimming and in softball yep also a softball player, which is very interesting this year. So now, as I understand it, you'll ascend next year to Miss American Irish, so for 2019. But as far as lady in waiting this year, tell us, uh, tell us how you're involved with the American Irish, and I know you're also related to this year's uh, uh, honoree, who is the Grand Marshal Joan Diaz, right? Yep. So uh, give us a little background on yourself. So I started marching the parade when I was really, really little. Like Julie said, like before I even think, like I can remember walking. My dad said I was like probably before I was like one years old and I don't know we've just been a part of it since we were such little kids and I we like do a bunch of like community service together and like as a group like it's like family now we always do things together and it's like it's just great great well congratulations yeah. to both of you it's a wonderful day here in Woodbridge today and for you both to be part of the 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade Thank you. Thank now you. back to you Welcome back, everybody. Craig Coughlin, Jim Durek, happy to be with you as we watch the sword fight. That's right. We've, some mayhem has broken out here on Main Street. The Valhalla Pirates. And, and we've already heard the gunshots. I think some of those uh, may be coming again. But yeah, this is, I, I don't recall seeing a sword fight, Craig. But they are the premier pirate and entertainment uh, crew in the east on the east coast they specialize in live combat because i guess dead combat doesn't really work <laughs> living hit and, 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 go. and they've got a cannon <laughs> living history and live theater there we go firing off the muskets the valhalla pirates but you're right craig you know um you know, listen they're alive and if they're a you know professional group that fight each other. I guess there are a few that are dead. Well, hopefully yeah, I mean, hopefully not. That it's sounds like a cannon. I think it is a little <laughs> mini cannon. <laughs> Arrgh, matey. <laughs> the, but there we go. They got their pirate ship. We got their I don't see a skull and crossbones. Isn't that like traditional uh, pirate fare? Oh, there's yeah, on the back. It's yeah. on the back. Okay. Next up, Cub Scout Pack 53 from Boards, New Jersey. Jim Leonardo is the scout master. This is the, the Cub Scout Pack my boys belonged uh, to when they were little. The youngest one's 20, 22 now. But they've been around for a long time, since hey, 1952. Craig, they're one of um, Fords. Uh, you know, unlike Edison, it's broken down into uh, zip code numbers. We actually have uh, names for our different sections here in town. We have uh, Woodbridge proper, we have Avenel, we have Seawarn, we have Hope Lawn. Uh, Fords, um, Menlo Park uh, Terrace. Um, wow, look at this guy coming up with the. Uh, I don't know. Wait if a minute, that's, that's your bicycle. Did he? Did he steal it? <laughs> <laughs> Cub Scout Master is George Grundy, just for the record, and Committee Chair Robin Hill. So a couple of there we go. Those guys for the basketball team. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, the JFK, John F. Kennedy Memorial High School Marching Mustangs. American flag, tricolor flag. Uh, I think that's the state of New Jersey flag, if it I'm is. not mistaken. Yep. The buff with blue, exactly right. Director is Joshua Cabrera. Color guard instructor is Amanda Ugelmeyer. And the percussion instructor is Brandon Everhart. I don't know if related to John. Drum, drum majors are Baljot Singh, McKenna Blair, and the cap, guard captains are Teresa Schmidt. Uh, Mojita Sinha, drum captains are uh, Naman Shah, Sanjin uh, Hadzik, Adia Lazarus Section. And the leaders are Hetel Lad, 
Alexandra Maza, Emmanuel Ramos, uh, Sinori Rupsasing, and Felipe uh, Sabagal. Watching Mustangs finish the 2017-2018 season with a season-high score of 86.105. Boy, and what, oh, look at that turnout, Craig. Terrific. That we have in uh, the view now. By the way, just the marching Mustangs will be performing in Epcot Center, Jim, uh, at the Walt Disney World next month. Road trip. Road trip is right. Good road trip. Woodbridge Senior Billiard Club. It'll be the next people in our view, and there they are. Anthony Falco is the Senior Billiard, billiard Club uh, leader. And the parade, and St. Patrick's Day Parade Chair, Steve uh, Sharkey is the president of the Billiards Club. Group numbers uh, somewhere between, well, that's the number of uh, marches. The number of people, about 125, believe it or not. That's, uh, I didn't realize the group was that big, Craig. Uh, yeah. Uh, and they do an awful lot of uh, good work. The old mem they support the uh, Have a Hard Food Drive, Relay for Life, uh, the Food Bank Memorial, the Police Fire, ETM folks. I mean, they do a lot, an awfully lot of good work. So thanks to them for that. And there we see. I think that's Lou, right? Hey, Lou. Followed by the Avenel Colonia First Aid Squad, Jim. Yep. President is Anthony Kersey, and the chief is uh, Bob Snow uh, Snowfield. Founded back in 1945, they provide emergency care and transportation for the sick and injured. They ask you to look forward to their health and safety fair, which will take place at the end of September this year at the station right there on Avenel Creek, uh, Street across from Station uh, Village. Number, another group of those uh, terrific, terrific uh, volunteers that we have here in Woodbridge who make the community work, Jim. There's no question. I mean, like I, I've always said, Craig, that one of the great things about our St. Patrick's Day parade here in uh, Woodbridge is we get to see a lot of volunteers that make this community go. Yep, absolutely right. Hey, let's take a break right now and let's send it out to John on the street. Okay, I'm here right now with Barbara Lasik, this year's president of the American Irish Association of Woodbridge, again, who brought us today's parade with some of her officers and some of her directors. So I'm going to ask you, Barbara, to please talk a little bit about your organization, the parade, and introduce your officers and directors who are here with you today. Okay, first of all, I want to welcome everybody to our 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. And this morning, I asked for a blessing that we have a beautiful sunny day, and so far, everything is coming to surpass. Right now, I have uh, my vice president. President Barbara Thompson. I have my uh, recording secretary, Delor Dolores Boyd, my secretary, Deborah Hutchinson, our financial secretary, Doris McKelvey, and our sergeant at arm is Ed McSherry. Now we also have directors. We have Sean Keevney, uh, Kenny Egan, Kenny Gardner, Joan Ward, Joan Diaz, and John Reitman. Okay, and we, the parade is put on just solely by the Woodbridge American Irish. I don't know if everybody does that, but we have a great crew. Our parade ad is Jack Ball and Sean Keevney, and Larry Melosha helps with the bookkeeping, and Ken Gardner does an excellent, excellent job with our ad publicity. Our, we are very famous for helping our veterans for the whole year. We do Charlie Sornacy Park. Uh, twice a year. Our members come out and force to help with the tooling around the township and we give out scholarships to all the area high schools during the year. But most importantly I want everybody to be Irish today. Come out and join us and I'll give you another blessings. May your trouble, may your blessings be more, your troubles be less, and nothing but happiness come through your door. Go Irish today! Thanks, Barb. Before, before we end it, I just want to point this out. Each and every honoree today, we talked about a little bit, 
the members of the American Irish Association don't just stop right there with all their community contributions. Every one of them has a resume, all your honorees today, as much as your members. They go way beyond the boundaries go, of your organization. They, not only that, they go way beyond the American Irish. They, they are involved with plenty of other groups in the area. And I would like to mention and give them great credit again. Joan, Di uh, Joan Dias is our Grand Marshal, our Irish Woman of the Year, Cindy Jakovinich, our Irish man, Dan Harris, and then we have a Miss American Irish, Julia Sinatra, and Erin Kay, who I can say, I'm very proud of those two young women because they will grow up to be fine community people because they do a lot of community service as well. Absolutely. Okay. Great lineup this year. Oh, perfect, perfect. You couldn't ask for any better selections. Thank you, Barbara. Back to you in the studio. As you know, we have a great mayor in John McCormick. We have a great yes, council, um, you know, and a, a, a very good board of education. So we're, we're fortunate. We are indeed. And they work together. Oh, yeah. Next up. The learning experience at 414 Rawway Avenue. Foundational learning experience was built on three key educational and care principles, cognitive, physical, and social, uh, as, or as they like to say, the TLE, learn, play, and grow. Their proprietary programs guarantees children and will graduate TLE with exceptional, with exceptional core academic skills that will start them on the path to a bright future at TLE, uh, they know. Uh, that each child develops at their own pace, so their curriculum is designed to provide experiences for children that promote the academic complacency, uh, competency, I'm sorry, along with a mastery of developmental tasks, no matter what learning stage they are at. And now we see our friends from Perth Amboy, the Perth Amboy Fire Department. And uh, uh, their Dalmatian just uh, passed out of our view, Craig. Perth Amboy has been around by since 1881. Think about that. 1881, that's about 20, less than 20 years after the end of the Civil War, Jim. Uh, uh, that's, to me, remarkable. And the chief now is Woodbridge's own Edward Mullen. You know, his dad is very active in the Island Fire Department. Very active. I sit on the uh, board of commissioners for uh, that, that, that. There's two in uh, Island, as you probably know, Craig. Yes. But I, I sit with uh, the one that Ed Mullen Sr. is on. Yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, he's, he's a, a really great guy. guy. We saw our friends from CBS. FM 101 roll by just a minute ago as we head into Division 3. And first up, the Middlesex County Police and Pipe Drums. If you notice, we do get a, uh, a lot of uh, pipe and drums marchers here. Um, well, that's true. That's absolutely. This is their season. We don't get them now, we're never getting them, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Rich Van uh, Drusen is the manager, Tom Kaminsky is the pipe major, James Campbell, the drum major, and Barney Raftery, the instructor. Also part of that is our own Woodbridge's official bagpiper, Paul DeLeo, just a great guy. Uh, and Paul's part of that group, helped start it some years ago. The uh, Middlesex County Pipe Drums honor the fallen law enforcement and firefighters who have given their lives in service. Uh, we desire to strengthen the relationships between the protective services and the public to preserve cultural heritage and to enrich their community by traditional bagpipe and drum music. And they were followed by the Belmar Lake Cuomo St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee. Belmar St. Patrick, kind of the Leader, I mean, they, not leader. I mean, they won. They, they kind of kick off the season. Their parade was last Sunday. I think there were some others as well. But Belmar is a very large parade. You've been there, I'm sure, Jim. But I've been there. I was there. And uh, as I said, uh, I don't know if uh, you were here yet, Craig, or uh, John Mitch was with me. But I met uh, the Grand Marshal 
from the Belmar um, Lake Cuomo parade, uh, Dan Riley. And I, I only just met him, but you know, typical Irishman, great guy. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> right. <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. Ariana's Grand, one of the fine catering facilities, I would argue, in the state, certainly in the premier uh, locations right here in Woodbridge on Avenel Street. I'm sorry, on Broadway Avenue, forgive me. And next up, some more of our Outstanding volunteers. Avenel, the Avenel Fire Company number one. Established in 1913, celebrated their 100th anniversary back a few years ago, about five years ago now. Time goes fast, 2013. President is Frank Strain, and Chief of Department is Mike Hamilton. Another one of those outstanding uh, groups. You, you, you had the privilege of representing them, if I don't, rec if I recall correctly, right, Jim? Um, it was an uh, Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, another uh, great group of guys who I um, I just love working with them. Yeah, and, and again, it's a volunteer fire company. Right. It's exactly. District Five, and so you know, again, th they're having some difficulty okay. recruiting. Yeah, it's always a challenge, right? I mean, lives have gotten so busy, so very busy. Well, and they, they just can't pull it in like they used to. Next up, the Forge Jeweler Division. Which is in Forts. <laughs> yeah. Hence the name. Oh, no, I guess this is the Forge Jeweler Division. I apologize. Division 3. And here we see oh, no more of the Avenel firefighters and their families. Firefighter families. Say, so let me hear you say that three times fast. I can't. Um, <laughs> look at that that woman. Uh, it, it, she's in short sleeves. God bless her. God bless her. It's, it's not right. that one. I mean, it's, it's nice warmer than sun. last year. <laughs> Next up, the Avenel VFW auxiliary. for all their work, making our community better. They're connected with uh, post uh, 7164. Yeah, I don't know where these four digits came from, Craig. <laughs> well, they're, they're uh, <laughs> right. I guess I guess that's it. Hey, let's take a break right now and let's send it out to John on the street. Okay, I'm here right now with Mayor John McCormick here in the sixth largest town in the state of New Jersey, but the largest Irish Day parade in the state of New Jersey as they measure it. So nothing uh, wrong with that. We've marched through many years of parades, rain, snow, sleet. Cold, warm, sunshine. Today is probably one of the better days. One of the better days. Last year we, we were brutally cold. Uh, the sun is out, no top coat. Uh, we're looking forward to a great day. Can't ask for we can't ask for better weather. It could be a little warmer, but uh, I'll take it. Very good, Mayor. I see you got some other dignitaries that are going to be accompanying you today, besides our local council, local freeholders. I think and board of education members. I think uh, Congressman Pallone is here. Right. U.S. Senator Menendez is coming. I haven't seen him yet, but he's coming. Everybody wants to be in Woodbridge on St. Patrick's Day for the Absolutely. parade. Absolutely, very proud day for you, for the American Irish, and for Woodbridge Township. Well, the Pest Grand Marshal. This is a great organization. We had the flag raising this morning. We talked about not just the parade they run you know for the town but they do all kinds of things with the veterans all kinds of things with scholarship for the kids they're so active in the community we're really very proud of the job they do for the entirety of Woodbridge Township and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I told the people I interviewed earlier what's interesting is 
what they do for the town doesn't stop right there because I've noticed today in the bios of all the honorees and the members they go well up above and beyond just with the organization they belong to so many groups their contributions are they're really enormous they really Joe are Dias, the Grand Marshal practically lives at the veterans home she does we I mean, went over that yet the uh, uh, bingos and uh, I say Patrick's Day parties there and golf outings and all kinds of things she does and sponsors for them she practically lives there it's a great choice of her this yes, year it certainly was very good congratulations on another great thanks parade very here much looking forward to a great day today back to you guys and here it is the ragtime folks the ragtime band annual participant and nobody saw that coming we saw people on the street jump Craig get me one of the EMT groups they hit me next up the Virginia 7th Virginia Calvary Company A reenactors they've marched in the parade for many years and usually have the honor of firing the rifle volley at the beginning of the parade that starts the marchers off. Their major is Gary Drake, and their first sergeant is Jim Donovan. And they're followed by some Union soldier reenactors. I just saw one of the guys loading up there, Craig. And every year, if you want to do something fun, ladies and gentlemen, you want to learn a, a lot, you can also learn an awful lot about the Civil War. Uh, every year, annually, they host a uh, Parker Press, at, at Parker Press, a Civil War Living History Weekend. We've done it for over 30 years. You will get more information than you can imagine. Each of these uh, reenactors probably has, I think, a master's degree in the Civil War because they just know so very much. And there we see the vehicle from the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary under the direction of our dear friend John Everhart, Jim. Another great guy. Tremendous so, guy. So involved in the community and just a great guy. U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary directly supports the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary by providing boat safety classes, vessel safety examinations, and search and rescue. Let's hope they don't ever have to do that. If they do, they'll be there. They'll be there, absolutely. There's no question about it. You know, talking about the Civil War, as you were a moment ago, Craig, uh, one of my good friends, uh, Jay Jorgensen, who's a judge yep. in uh, Middlesex County, he's literally an expert yes. on Gettysburg. He's like published five books. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a story about that in just a minute. But we saw, just saw going past us the Woodbridge Warriors Special Hockey Group. And they are followed by Moby Dick's Bar, one of the outstanding establishments right here in Woodbridge Township in the Sea Warren section. They've been the area's hottest bar, restaurant, and longest running music venue in the area, featuring the best in live entertainment four nights a week. They've gained renown for their great burgers, wings, uh, and they offer, a, but they also offer a full American style menu seven days a week. If you're not at Moby's, you're in the wrong place. So. I went, uh, we took the boys, Tish and I took uh, my sons to uh, to see Gettysburg some time ago. Uh, and they were little, I think Nicholas is now 22, was probably six or five or something. He was in a car seat still, so probably even younger. Um, and we, we, we had one of the guides, you can go through the public parks, the park service. And I mentioned that I knew Jay. Right. This guy was from North Carolina. He, he knew exactly who he was. He was, he oh, was, yeah. he was impressed by the fact that I knew an author of the book. He had written a book called the uh, Jay had written a book called the Wheatfield, I think, which I, I've read. I haven't read all of his. But, but and um, he uh, every May, Craig, he does a bike tour, a bicycling tour through Gettysburg. Twenty miles the first day, ten miles the second day. Uh, I did it with him once, and um, I mean, he's so incredibly knowledgeable. Um, he and his wife, Maureen, have established a relationship with uh, a bed and breakfast owner that borders Gettysburg, and um, we were sitting around the parlor and, you know, introducing um, ourselves to each other, and there was a guy from California that literally said, 
your Jay Jorgensen? <laughs> I was from California. <laughs> wow, that's why I said this guy was, and this guy knew a lot about uh, about the Civil War. He was legitimately uh, an expert. Uh, we just saw the Paul Williams Custom Motor Coach groups. And I guess that might have also included the Garden State Gear Shifters. It's a car club, founded back in 1983. You know, Craig, you mentioned Moby uh, Dicks earlier. Uh, I literally grew up in Woodbridge. I still live in Woodbridge Township. You know, I've never been to Moby Dicks. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'll have to take you there sometime. All right, you got. Here comes the. Uh, uh, you heard it, everybody. Craig's take me to Moby Dick. You're buying. I'm just driving. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go. This is the the boat club. It used to be the South Amway Boat Club of Woodbridge. I think they renamed themselves to the Woodbridge Boat Club. I think their their group is located at the beautiful marina in uh, Seawarn. Seawarn. Exactly. There we see a, a vessel. Yeah, in the front of the vessel, it looks like a uh, an image of Elvis Presley. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says yachting like <laughs> Elvis Presley. I understand there's actually pretty good fishing off of uh, Sea Warren Craig. Um, I, I, you got me there. I, I know of a few people um, that will go off of Sea Warren into the, I guess, Raritan Bay it is. Yes, I'm sure. And, uh, you know, they do some pretty good fishing. <laughs> Next up, the. Somebody. Oh, the Port Reading uh, Fire Department. Founded back in 1904. Harry uh, Printefelides is the chief. Baron serving the community for many, many years now. Over 100 years old. See some of their outstanding apparatus. You know, we're, we're talking about how long some of these groups have been around, Craig, and how time flies. It does. Would you believe my old older son is 39? Wow. Yeah, wow is right. No, I mean, like, you know, I can remember uh, attending, you know, all of, well, not all of, but I mean, many, any number of 100th anniversaries of the fire uh, companies. And Port Reading's was... 14 years ago, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was, it seems like they were all recent, um, but it goes fast. I mean, 19, 2004 was, seems like not all that long ago, and, and yet time goes by. And in your uh, screen now, you'll see the Trenton AOH um, pipe band coming up. Colin Duffy is their pipe major, Jim Duffy is their bandmaster, and Sean Carter is their drum major. The Ancient Order of Hibernians from Trenton, New Jersey. Did you ever notice that the drum major has to be about six foot three? Yeah. <laughs> and this one's and got a, a big head. They got the, well, they got the head gear that goes. Yeah, yeah. It makes them about seven feet tall. Next up, the AOH Brian Baru Division, 14 of Middlesex County. Uh, they are a an Irish Catholic fraternal organization. Jeremiah O'Grady is the division president. I think it's probably the same one who's in South Amboy. Earl Young is the vice president. Michael Clancy, the treasurer. Mike uh, Farrell is the financial secretary. Chris Martin is the standing committee chair. And Andrew 
Vivo or Vivo is the Sentinel. And they are followed closely by the Keysby, Keysby, I'm sorry. Keysby, it's not like I'm not from Woodbridge. Keysby Fire Department. Louis Montalvo is the chief. And uh, another section of our great township here, Craig. Exactly right. Exactly right. You know, Craig, while uh, we have a minute here, on my mom's side, both my grandparents came from uh, Ireland. Really? Yeah, they were outside a town called Baileyboro. And they each had farms. There was the Carlin farm and then the uh, Owens farm. And they never met each other until they came here. And they met in a fraternal organization in New York. Really? How about that, right? Amazing how. It's when you hear stories like that, you say, I guess they were meant to be, right? Absolutely. They went on to have nine kids. So I had a lot of aunts and uncles. And here comes uh, pack 148. First one I think we've seen with only three digits. <laughs> I think we also, yep. Pack 148 in Island. Justin Robertson is the Cubmaster. And Beth Broadwell, the uh, committee chair and then leader. Heather Platt, the treasurer. Jen uh, Ferrer, Jeff uh, Broadwell and Elizabeth Erico uh, are the den leaders. And they are followed by Fords, our friends at the Fords Fire Company. Include some of our, one of our uh, council people, Howie Bauer member of the, the Forest Fire Company for a long time, our public works director, Dennis Henry, one of the uh, uh, board members, along with George Baru from the public works department. I think we missed the Woodbridge Broncos football and cheerleading squads, and please forgive us for that as they went by. We were talking about things otherwise. Um, well, that was because of me, Craig. Come on. Well, I was trying Put not the to blame throw you where it belongs. I was trying not to throw you under the fire truck. <laughs> in 2017, the Broncos JV cheerleaders were the national champions. In 2017, their Pop Warner Football Coach of the Year was Jason Sims. Also in 2017, the Midi, I'm sorry, Mighty Might Football Division II Conference Champions, Division II Junior Varsity Football Champions, Pop Warner Mighty Might Football. Uh, state runner-up champions, and the Broncos Mighty Mites uh, were also the 2017 winner of the Battle of the Township game of the Golden Saints and Mighty an, Mites. An, an, excuse me, Craig, another uh, sponsor for one of our groups, the club at Woodbridge that has been around for God knows oh, how for long. Sure. Yeah. And uh, th there are another, you know, the club has been very involved in the township and very supportive of the township exactly in right. our activities. Hey, let's take a break right now and let's send it out to John on the street. Okay, I'm right downtown Main Street now with Congressman Frank Pallone. I've introduced you so many times at parades before, as well as Robert uh, Menendez, New Jersey Senator. Both of you guys, thanks so much for coming to Woodbridge. It means a lot to Woodbridge that you guys take the time out of your personal schedules, your business schedules, to come out of Washington to come back here. What does it mean to come to Woodbridge? It's always the greatest parade in the state of New Jersey for St. Patrick's Day. It's a Senator. great parade here in Woodbridge, and uh, the spirit of the people is amazing. It's great to see the vibrancy of the town, all the Main Avenue, all, all the stores vibrant. And But above all, I think what we both celebrate is the contributions of Irish Americans from someone like Mayor McCormick, who has served our state as a state treasurer, now Mayor Woodbridge, uh, to religion, to business, to politics, to just about every part of American society. And so we really celebrate that today. Thank you, Senator. And before we go over to the Congressman, I'm going to say this. So. Uh, ten years ago, you stopped here and you helped us kick off a great census count. Yeah. I'm hoping you're going to be back and the Absolutely. mayor's going to probably call you on that because uh, you did a great job for us back then and we want to we want to do that job B again. Bigger the numbers, the, the more census. money we get. Absolutely. <laughs> Congressman, again, thank you as always for coming to Woodbridge. Right. It's a pleasure to have you. It's great. I mean, today I think is the biggest uh, parade I've ever seen. It's Not a great day. Not only in terms of people marching, but also watching, uh, you know, and cheering. And the sun is out, so it's just it's just great to be here. Really. We've had cold days. We've had 
warm I days. Know. We've had rain, we've had sleet, but you know, today is a great day. The sun shines down on Woodbridge, represents everything what uh, the Irish uh, Association wants for today. So thank you so Absolutely. much for taking Happy time. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Too. Thank, thank you. you, Senator. Thank you. Congressman, thank you. now back to you guys inside. And welcome back, to everyone, the 2018 Woodbridge St. Patrick's Day for Parade, Jim Durick and Craig Coughlin, happy to be with you as we see now coming into view the Woodbridge Barons Marching Band. I love the flags, Craig. Take a look at those under the direction of uh, Jason Cohn. Khan, I'm sorry. Uh, Jen Khan is the assistant director. Becca Damas. Uh, the Masek is the color guard captain, Tom Hicks, the percussion captain, and Bella Frias, Carla Giordano, and S. Yip are the drum masters, or drum majors. Principal, of course, Glenn Lotman of Woodbridge High School Marching Band uh, is an offshoot of the instrumental music department at Woodbridge. Students in the band are athletes, scholars, volunteers, artists, music and some of the most visible representatives in, of Woodbridge Township. The instrumental group uh, music department offers multiple performances and opportunities for students. Uh, and last year participated in over 20 performances and competitions. Last year, the band and the color guard received rave reviews from their performances at the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, pretty cool, huh? In Washington and at the University of Delaware. This season, uh, the marching band took second place in the Group 3A New Jersey State Competition, and they look forward to performing at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, I guess our other band is going to be with the JFK is going to be over at Epcot, right? Uh, yep. And let's take a listen to the Woodbridge Marching Barons. in your school. Jim Signs, I guess, is going to be the school play. Spring music. Oh, there. She Loves Me. I'm sorry. You're right here in front of me. Uh, she Loves Me show dates are March 22nd through March 24th at 7 o'clock on Sunday the 25th. And that's on Sunday the 25th. Tickets just $13 at the door. $10 in advance, so get them now. You know, Craig, I, um, you mentioned the principal at Woodbridge High School, Greg Lopin. Mm-hmm. I actually coached him. Did you? When uh, he played rec uh, basketball. Really? Over in Colonia. Huh. Uh, sixth graders. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen him in a while, but he would refer to me all the time if he saw me around his coach. How you doing, coach? <laughs> really? Yeah. Was he any good? <laughs> he was good. He was a pretty good player. Well, he's a terrific principal. He. He's one of those guys who shows up, and John McCormick, the mayor, points it out all the time. If there's one kid from Woodbridge who's getting an award doing something, Glenn Lotman shows up, and that's, you know, just speaks to his commitment to his students and to the school system. Glenn, right. Some performance by She Loves Me, a romantic comedy, I believe. Next up will be one of our floats. See it in the background there as we see some of the folks from the school flight. Well, I'll tell you what, Craig, we do see a lot of uh, really nice floats here that we take do? some time putting together, you know, with the American Irish one, uh, who's, they've been, doing it for years, it's really Alice Sinatra. Right. And here we see these are folks from Investors Bank, founded back in 1926. They have three branches right here in New Jersey, or in, right here in Woodbridge, I should say. They're on Main Street, Avenel Street, and Inman Avenue. And they're a fine corporate partner. 
Now, I, I, I can see up on the grandstand there uh, our announcer, Tom Henderson, who's being assisted uh, by my wife, and they're actually getting some sun. Good for that. Usually they're, you know. they wore their Probably they wore sunscreen. You know, it's one of those days where you could, it, the sun is out, it's beautiful. It's oh, it's a be Craig, it's a beautiful day. Now, Tom has been one of your best friends. Uh, We've been friends life, since right? third grade. Yeah. Pretty special. And now he lives up the street from me, so. Special uh, to have a friendship like that, Jim. Oh, yeah. Here we see a DeLorean vehicle, made famous, I guess, by Back to the Future, right? Yeah. But, but produced by an Irish guy. And also made uh, perhaps famous, infamous, by uh, the great divorce between DeLorean and his wife. Really? Yeah. <laughs> There's only 9,000 of DeLoreans that were made between 1981 and 1983. That's right. Uh, next up, the Hope Lawn Fire Department. In Hope Lawn, from Hope Lawn, New Jersey, of, or for Hope Lawn, of course. And back in 1914. And another uh, section of Woodbridge Township. K.W. Hegedus is the chief. Jorge Irizarry is the president. Protecting the folks of Hope Lawn for well over a century now. You know, Craig, earlier I was telling you uh, a little bit about my uh, maternal right. grandparents and my, uh, <laughs> my grandfather uh, with nine kids, you know, like a lot of Irish men that came here, they were either firemen or police officers, right. and he was a fireman in Newark. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, to supplement his income, he had a... Uh, tap cleaning business for the uh, bars in the area. How about that? Yep. And he also had a uh, um, white lightning brewery <laughs> in the basement. And well, as split. you probably know, it, 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 in uh, Irish, it's called Pachin. That's exactly right. And and what, I'm sorry, just one, one second. You get, get back to that. Uh, the Woodbridge, Center, Woodbridge Community Center, folks, have just Oh, oh. See him in view. right up here. One of the outstanding, outstanding community centers in the state of New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. No, so, he, so he drank pochin or pachin. 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 And uh, well, he sold it as well. And my mother, when you know she was in school, remembered coming home, and apparently the still blew up. <laughs> oh. <Ouch>. And, <laughs> and she remembers all of his fellow firemen who came to you know put the fire out. Yeah sitting around drinking whatever pachin they could salvage. <laughs> there you go. Dedicated. The good old days. <laughs> exactly. We just saw the Fred Lahate Ragtimers, an <laughs> annual participant in both the Holiday Parade and in the uh, um, in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Let's take a listen to Fred Lahate. Yeah, and they've been uh, in our parade a lot. day for the Irish, especially in March. <laughs> That's true. Thanks. We see the Colonia Fire Company. Emergency services folks from Colonia. Colonia, yep. Your hometown. It is now. <laughs> That's right. You were born in Menlo Park Terrace. Right? Uh, actually, I was born in Newark. Lived, oh. lived in Irvington for a while when my pop had a bar there. And he would always tell me, you got to have those taps cleaned. It's because he was it, in it, a tap it, cleaning it, business. It, right. <laughs> 
if they're not clean, you don't get a good beer. Lifestyles of Woodbridge is uh, happy to be with us today. I think that's I Styles of uh, Woodbridge, at least. Oh, I Styles, my, yeah. my mistake. My yeah, mistake. that was uh, on the truck. And next, the Colonia Marching Band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the three high schools here in our township, Craig. Exactly right, the Marching Patriots. Oh my goodness, look how young some of them are, Craig. It's because they are young, Jim. I thought we were still young. In our minds, perhaps. <laughs> And look at the flags, oh my goodness. Look at that. Shh. Putting their Irish on. Oh yeah, big time. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I don't, can't seem to find the uh, information for the Colonial Marching Band. Well, when sometimes. When I do, I'll tell you who the drum major was and who the director was, I apologize. And sometimes we don't always uh, get the information in order because changes are made at the stepping off point. But I found it. Oh, well. Sharia Bot is the drum major. Student leaders are Jaden Rivelis, Rebecca Melton, Elena Miss, Miss uh, Chiagena. I'm sorry, M I S C I A G N A. Uh, Stephanie. Uh, Parmalee and Abigail McCulley. In our view now on, on your television screen is the Michelli, uh, Michelli, sorry. International uh, Martial Arts, which I believe are right here in Woodbridge proper, Craig, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they are. They've been part of the Woodbridge community for over 15 years, located on Cutter Docks Road in Woodbridge. Boy, what a great turnout today, uh, Craig. I found the eye styles, folks. They've been rented that trolley for the second year in a row now. I found it back in 1995. They are located in Avenel. Jamie Mazzarelli is the eye style owner and optician. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive. I want to see you do that. In your you want to see your, me do in that? Your slippers. I couldn't, Craig. I've got my. Uh, Irish sweater on that my mother bought for me. Good job. International martial arts, thanks guys. Boy, I thought I had a booming voice. Uh, I can hear Tom while we're sitting here in the me restaurant, too. Craig. <laughs> He's almost as good as Justin McCarthy, who did it for like, I don't know, 30 years or whatever. A lot of tricolors out there, Craig me lad. Ah, indeed there are. And we see now the Islin Fire Department. Which one? District number nine. Chief is Terry Kennedy. They've been serving the community since 1922. They'll probably have, they'll have the next 100th anniversary. One 
of again some of the you know some of the folks that we're just really lucky to have in Woodbridge Township. Island Fire Department. And John Mitch has another guest right now. John? Okay, it's an honor right now to be standing here with a good friend of mine, Joan Diaz, who is this year's Grand Marshal of the 45th Annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in Woodbridge. Congratulations, Joan. Thank you so much, Thank John. You, you know, I, I talked to a couple other people already about what this year's parade means to them and the involvement of their families, but let's talk a little bit about, you know, how you got to being recognized this year. And I know personally, and I've, I've been able to see the work you do at Town Hall every year when you decorate the display cabinets for the uh, Irish heritage. Mm -hmm. And you usually have it done for the whole month of March. So many people get to see it. You do a great job. Thank so you. I want to talk a little bit about that when you get a moment. But I also want to talk about some of the things you do in the community. I was at the Elks when you were honored a year or two ago, right. I know, for what you've done for the community. St. Uh, James Parish, that in itself. You know, people, unfortunately, you know, a part of our lives, we always lose someone that's close to us. Correct. And you get involved in that. You get involved in helping families make arrangements. You're there to support them. You're very involved with the Veterans Home in Menlo Park. Yes, I am. I know what you do for them. You bring St. Patrick's Day parties to them, if I'm not mistaken. You're involved with the Daughters of the American Revolution. I know you play golf, and you do things all for the veterans as well. Yes, So let, let's take a couple things. Let's talk about what you do at the church for a moment. Well, at the church, I do what's called the Lazarus Ministry. Uh, when the family, I meet with the families of the deceased. I help them to pick out their readings, to pick out their music and to be there for the funeral the next day and it's it's great i mean it's there's some so many people that just are so shocked and they don't know how to handle it and they don't know you know what uh, songs they want and all so they're very very grateful and sure. thankful to me for that oh, and that's, that's very rewarding for Absolutely. me to do yes and then let's jump over to the veterans over to the veterans uh, home the veterans home we do a irish picnic in the summertime and my son's club which is the hubs in perth amboy they do all the cooking for us and the women in our club bring all the soda bread and the salads and all and then we have the uh, the vets outside in the picnic area they have a great time we do an irish night which will now be april the 11th and um we bring soda bread and bananas and soda and water to them and then we do the uh, bingo at Christmas time, which I think they love the best. I'm they sure. love that bingo. I'm sure. But um, I work with the Daughters of American Revolution once a month playing golf with the veterans. And it's a lot of fun. We do miniature golf inside. Now, this Friday, we have Crazy Hat Day. So okay. I have a hat home all ready, all green and everything to wear over there. So it's, that's another very rewarding. Sure. That's wonderful. Yes, that is yes. great. Uh, no doubt in my mind, they had the right person this year selected for, for this honor. You're going to march in the parade today with your sons, right? They're going to be with you? The family is going to be with me. I have three sons. Uh, they should be with me. My niece is coming up from Jackson. She'll be with me too. My sister, unfortunately, is down in Florida. And I have uh, three nieces down in Florida. So uh, they're not going to be here today, but... Uh, but they can go online and watch uh, On watch Demand. Yes. So that's great with TV 35's yeah. ability, so that's wonderful. Oh, that's great. Very yeah. good. Joan, congratulations to, from Joan Diaz and myself. Back to you guys. Thank you very much. And welcome back to everyone. The 2018 Woodbridge St. Patrick's Day Parade. Jim Durick and Craig Coughlin, happy to be with you as we see now coming into view the Woodbridge Township Ambulance and Rescue Squad. I think we may have missed, uh, and I apologize, the International United Miss New Jersey Princess, uh, Damiana DeLeo. And welcome her to the parade. They're in competition for the national level on July 16th to 21st, which would be at the Stockton Seaview Hotel and Golf Club in Galloway Township. Next up, the Golden Saints. One of our outstanding youth sports organizations right here in Woodbridge Township. They're good enough to go out and get a float. Boy, it's a, another beautiful float. Nice, got the yard markers there, 10, 20, 30. Gold 
Boston Saints. Uh, I'm trying to find their information because got moved around. Let's see, here they are. Port Reading, New Jersey. Pedro Rosario is their president. Dave Brett is the vice president. Cheer coordinator is Lenore Rouge. Football commissioner Mark Roche. Assistant football commissioner Ryan Hines. Second assistant football commissioner is Nick Shine. Treasurer is Mike uh, Picula. First assistant treasurer is Melissa uh, Sabellio. And the second assistant treasurer is Stephanie uh, Princip. Their JV Junior Varsity football team uh, are the 2017 Jersey Valley Conference champions. And their Junior Varsity cheerleaders won first place at the Junior Valley Conference competition. Their Mighty Might football team had a perfect 8-0 record. Congratulations to all of them for their great success. And we have another float. Alice. You In your see. view now. Alice is the pink heels service vehicle. I, I don't think I've ever seen a pink I fire think truck. The first, uh, first time that Alice has been in the uh, parade. They're in, located in Old Bridge, New Jersey. Uh, they help women fight breast ca or fighting cancer, uh, Jim. Uh, Old Regina good, old Hawkins is work. the president. Michael Hawkins is the vice president. And Lorraine uh, Aberre is the secretary. So thank you for all that you do to the folks at the Pink Heels uh, organization. I, gu I guess that explains the color uh, pink, Craig. Uh, for, uh, yeah. bre you know, breast cancer month. Next up, this looks like the Corvette Club, Jim, is it? Except that none of these are Corvettes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I got I, We have to the last second, the Corvette uh, Club. If you uh, haven't guessed, folks, I am not a car guy. Uh, yeah, he still uh, rides around in one of those uh, 1962 Volkswagen Bugs. <laughs> so if no. you see it on the road, No, I don't. <laughs> car I drive in most is a Ford Focus, I think. It's close. I bounce around in a bunch. We have a lot of cars. We have a lot of people in my house. All of them have oh, cars. Oh, you sure do. I don't know who that group was in the cars, but glad to have them. We see some of the crowd. Um, Watching the parade, Craig, uh, little ones. <laughs> I believe you see the rampant lion pipe band from Bridgewater, New Jersey. Pipe band has marched many times in the St. Patrick's Parade in Woodbridge and loves coming to honor St. Patrick and the Irish American community of Woodbridge and we welcome them again this year and that's a bit of a haul from bridgewater craig you it know is. it is okay. oh and Thank here you. comes the uh parade marshals the, the backbone literally the backbone of uh getting the parade off uh from woodbridge high school uh they're along the route in case there's any difficulties, and Craig, as you know, uh, working with CERT, any changes uh, that we may have, uh, they get it to us. Sometimes we foul up, but they don't. <laughs> exactly right.
I see a lot of green apparel out there too, Craig. Usually when we see a third team, sorry, Jim. No, usually when we see the uh, parade marshals, that that means we're pretty much parade. wrapping up. I think that's true. I'm kind of poking my head and kind of craning to see. I think this may be the end of the 2018 St. Patrick's Day Parade. I believe you're right. The nice part about being in this window, Jim, is we see so many of the crowd kind of walking by and they stop and wave. Sometimes they knock on the window. We see, as I said, the CERT team is involved in everything that goes on in the community. They really are dedicated yeah, volunteers. Absolutely. We see some of their uh, vehicles that uh, probably use the next one you're going to see in times of flooding and things like that because they, they're out in all kinds of inclement weather and they do all of the challenging things. So. You know, one thing uh, we've been lucky about, Craig, is uh, the former Governor uh, Burns. Yep. Yeah, sadly, he passed this year. He, was a he did. But I'll never forget one of his comments. He goes, you know, after being governor, it's nice to have people wave at me with all five fingers. <laughs> and so that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this 2018 version of the Woodbridge St. Patrick's Day Parade. Jim, another fine, fine event, my lad. And it was, uh, it's a pleasure working with you, Craig. And, and again, Channel 35, they're awesome. They do a great job with us and for us. And we're right, Jim, we have, we have an extraordinary production each year. And congratulations to all the folks at Channel 35 for another job well done. We wish everybody the, the best St. Patrick's Day as we, you know, it's kind of the annual beginning of spring for me, and I suspect for you too. So thanks for watching, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody.